So I don't know if you guys saw this or not, but Deshaun Watson's making his return to the NFL this weekend. And wouldn't you know it, of all the places he's going to make his return after this lengthy suspension, Deshaun Watson's going to be starting for the Browns at the Houston Texans, who, wouldn't you know it, he used to play for for all those years. And that's the team who traded him to Cleveland. And then there's this, Tony Busby, who was the lawyer who represented the women that were filing the sexual harassment and assault uh, uh, charges against Deshaun Watson. Uh, He's announced that he and about 10 of the women who accused Deshaun Watson of sexual harassment and assault will be at the game on Sunday. To watch? Yeah. So On his dime. Who thinks this is a good idea? Why is this happening? Uh, I mean, one, I, I guess you'd, it'd, it'd lend you to think that because it's in Houston, that helps make it more possible. Yeah. You know, had they suspended him an additional week, you know, that it wouldn't be possible to to have this. But you, but they could always fly up and attend wherever the game was. I, I mean, I, at this point, I, I would I, – I don't know. I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if they want to be there to continue to, you know, tell their story. Um, I'm not sure if Tony Busby, who has utilized the media uh, to his advantage to put leverage on Deshaun Watson and, and his legal team and, and all of that. Like, it, it's, it's hard to understand why, if you went through a traumatic experience like that, why you'd want to, you know, go there and do that uh, or witness that. But, again, that, that, that's, that's up to their own decision, you know, and how they want to handle it. It's just the whole thing's odd, man. Like, it just, and it's not even. And I, I caught myself looking at the story, going, "Why would he do this? What, like, why even put like this? Just makes the situation that much weirder." And then I realized, oh, the entire situation's weird. A, why have him come back for this game? Like, of all of all the number of suspensions, the, the number of games you could have popped him for, why this one? You could have you could have just done what a lot of people felt like you were going to do and done the entire season. Or to Brady's point, push it back a week, and that way you don't have to deal with any of this stuff that's happening. Like, that could have been avoided. Deshaun Watson's behavior, all that could have been avoided. The fact that he's even, you know, still playing, that could have been avoided. The fact that the Browns traded for him and gave him all that money, that could have been avoided. Just from start to finish, this entire thing has been a cluster F. From start to finish. And now on top of it. It's been a what? A cluster F. You can't say the. uh, Uh, Okay. Yeah, you can't say the uh, the actual word. I'll say this. Thank you, Birdo. Yes, that's the one. That it 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 almost thanks, Berto. Yeah, it, it it almost gives. Tell Lavar if you could just tell Lavar. Oh, I heard him. I okay. heard him say. It. Yeah, okay. I heard him say. It. I heard him. I just was trying to keep Missed doing you, radio. Berto. That's okay. all. You know. Missed you, buddy. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Berto said the real word. Everyone, just just so everybody knows. <laughs> um, snitching on you. This this to me makes. Deshaun Watson, and I never would think that I would say this. It makes him a sympathetic figure. Really? What? Tony (laughs) Busby is taking the girls to see the game, and they're going to sit in a suite to watch the game. But you don't know if they don't, like, want to do this on their own volition. Maybe it was their idea. If, If whoever goes to that game. They, they're going to that game to watch the game that Deshaun Watson is playing in in a suite. Like, y'all don't find that to be str- – like, the, Oh, it's me, I, 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 They're probably the, rooting the, against him, I would imagine, LaVar. I don't think they're rooting for him. But why would, why would you even make that public domain? Why would you go? I'm willing to bet uh, that If he- this person has done the things, the heinous things and the acts that – the lewd acts that he's done – why would you want to go and watch him play? Maybe they feel like they're haunting him, you know? Maybe they feel like they're haunting from, him. From the suite. Do you think he's on their fantasy team? Probably not. The See, whole thing's I, weird. I mean, maybe this is cultural for me because culturally speaking, you're coming to a suite to watch me play. Have you been in a suite oh. all year to watch the, the Houston Texans I play? I agree. The, the, it's all weird. I agree. But like that, so, so what, you flaunting your money that you got now? Or are, are you like, we got you? Like, to me, that's how I'm looking at it. Ooh. 
Like you're you're oh so y'all got paid you got your settlements and now you're coming to sit in the suite you're not you didn't say we're coming to stand out front and watch Deshaun go in and shame him while he's walking into the stadium it the report says they got a suite and they're going to watch the game from a suite he's not even going to see them so what does it matter to tell the public you're going to go sit in a suite to watch the game that's 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 high profile that's that's high sedity like. I'm not with that. That makes me sound like y'all hustled Deshaun Watson. That's what it sounds like to me. Do you feel like some part of of them being in a suite is just for their own protection? You know, maybe they feel like... Don't go! I I get that, but maybe they feel like it's important for them to go and to show... And sit in the suite. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm saying, again, we're we're looking at this from a perspective of a male. Bottom line. Like, we're like, we don't have the perspective of, of how they feel the position that they're in. And all I'm trying to throw out there is maybe they feel like this is them showing their strength, showing their power of, hey, something happened, all right, and I'm not going to hide. I, I want to be out there to say to any other woman who's been, whether it was sexually abused, whatever they're, they're going through, that you can stand strong and you can still be present for something to face that person. And maybe to some degree that's what it is. Because, again, the suite and all that, I don't really care about that. You know, that's probably Tony Busby feeling like they could all be in a safe space maybe together and separated from people to be present for it as opposed to just being out there in the stands somewhere. But, I mean, again, I'm just trying to throw out perspective of it. Maybe it has something to do with that. They feel like it's important to be in the public's eye so it's not forgotten and the subject of what we're talking about is not forgotten. Tony Busby spoke with ESPN on Tuesday and he said, quote, some of my clients asked to go. They thought it was important to make clear that they are still here and that they matter. And he said some of the women really wanted to attend the game to kind of make a statement. Hey, we're still here. We matter. Our voice was heard. And this is not something that's over. Sexual harassment happens every day in the United States. Okay, let let me let me ask this question, because maybe this could clear it up for me. Are they going straight to the suite Or did they announce that there are other things that they're going to do? Because if they go straight to their suite, who exactly are they showing that we're still here? Who exactly are they showing that this is a real Uh, issue out here? It'll be on TV. They're They're going to film these ladies going to a suite to sit and watch the game. That's what we're, we're not, saying. Not, not filming them going. I think they're gonna at some point. I wouldn't be surprised if they didn't film it at some point. I mean, I, I, maybe they won't. Maybe maybe the, the game crew doesn't want to film that. They really just film the game. But nowadays, I feel like a lot of game crews, and just from calling a number of NFL games, is and even college to that matter, right? Like like I remember, you know, calling the first game in Oklahoma when Joe Mixon came back. People tend to forget you know, what transpired before he got to Oklahoma. Yeah. And, and I, I remember having to, to kind of go over that, cover that, how, we're, how we were going to cover that and mention it. Now, in, in my mind, I'm like, this isn't, you know, this obviously impacted him from a football perspective, but it's not football. So it's not my place to talk about it as, an, as a game analyst, right? That's not what I'm hired to do. But if our sideline reporter wants to talk about it, if our producer feels it's important and our play-by-play wants to mention what, is, what had transpired, so be it. So I, I don't know that the game crew, it kind of depends on who those people are. I mean, honestly, that's it's kind of like the news we get. As much as we want to act like these news stations are just reporting the news, there's also people behind them who have their own interests and their own ideas as to what people should be told. So that plays a role in it. But I, I'll be curious to see if the game crew does show them on TV because I, I do think it'd be tough – not to. And I, and I wonder, like, the NFL's role in... And, and that's, where, that's where I'm saying, like, NFL, their re- relationship with the television stations, they are not yeah. showing those, those people. Uh, I would actually argue the opposite. All right. Because I, I remember oh. the NFL, at least reportedly, wanted him to be a spender for the whole year. They settled on this number. And, and that's what's interesting to me is, like, they settled on a number, and, and maybe it has something to do with the fact that you know, they, they want him, okay, like, you want to come back early? You want to you act like our suspension wasn't, you know, punitive enough initially when it was the six games? You know, now, now we're going to make you come back and go play in Houston. We're going we're gonna to make sure you're very aware of, 
you know, the, the past transgressions and everything that you've done. Yeah, it's a yeah. nice, I'm nice not, even I'm round. Not that. It's a nice even. I'm not, I'm not taking that one to the bank. It's a nice even round number of eleven. You I'm know, not, makes all the sense in the world. I, I, I don't, I don't understand this. You got your settlement. If if you're telling me you're going there to face him, like when Mike Vick came back and and protesters were out front protesting and and saying what they are going to say i i understand that you don't you don't want to be forgotten you don't want this to be forgotten you don't want this to be taken lightly i get that you're you're going to go have stand there and show we're here we're not invisible i get that but to announce that you're going to the game to watch the game and you're going to be in a suite if that's all you're doing is going to the game and going to a suite i would argue that's shady as hell. It's a little weird, but also I, this is why I, I don't. I'm not sympathetic to Deshaun Watson. He put himself in this situation, and also these are only ten women. What about the other thirty? 